Howdy folks. My name is Dean Jones. I work at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm here today to show you this nice, beautiful Striker Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. I'm gonna start off at the front here and I'll show you some of the features. This guy is packed, packed with all kinds of goodies. So I think you'll find it pretty nice unit. Just to start off, we've got a stock number of 5U210168. That's how you can reference this, this toy hauler. And while we're here, I'll just start with the front. You've got a really nice molded fiberglass front cap. It's not a, a rolled wall type of front end, so it's not gonna delaminate. It's just a one nice big tough pick piece that'll wear the road rocks real well. You got the diamond plate back bottom here. Um, we'll start off with talking about this 30, you got two 30 pound bottles of propane. That's kind of a nice feature. You can go boondocking for a long time. And what's nice about how this one was outfitted originally is you got two deep cycle batteries in the, on the tongue here. That's gonna provide you a lot more power. It's also outfitted with a nice LCI power tongue jack. As you see, it comes up and down, and it does have a docking light. And you also have the LED light strips in this guy to kind of help you with docking at night, that kind of situation. Nice Lippert frame. And moving over on this side, there's a couple things about this storage. You do have a generator on their side, so it's not a true pass-through as you can see, but you do have a battery shutoff switch, a nice little light for convenience. And if you can see that aluminum framing up top there, it's pretty neat. This is a welded aluminum frame body trailer. Now on this, you, you also have magnet catches on this guy, so you're not messing with the little plastic dilly that's gonna break over time. You, you just, whenever you're trying to get your stuff out, you just pop that up. And when you're done, you have a slam latch. You're not turning little guys and make, going back and making sure they're closed when you're traveling. You just know when they're shut, they're shut. This is a fiberglass coach. It's gonna be a little bit heavier, but it's also gonna be a lot more hail resistant and a lot more efficient as far as insulation. This one comes with a really cool feature and this is called a power stabilizer. So how this works is when you go to your campsite, you got to kind of set it up and level it so everything is comfortable and everything works right. First, you would start off on the hill this way. If you need to, you know, elevate some tires, you'd put some blocks on that side. And then you go front to back with your power tongue jack. You're not cranking that up. You're just pushing a button. But once you get it where you like it, you just hit this extend button and these things come down and grab the ground and you're ready to go. It, it's a lot better than walking around with your little crank hitting all four corners. You're actually camping in about 10 minutes once you level this guy. This is a nice big entry, as you can see. It does have a grab bar here. Triple step, wider entry, and it's also got tinted safety glass windows, as you can see with all this glass, but it's also gonna keep it cooler inside. Moving on, on to this little guy here. This is a nice little 110 outlet. You can put a little TV bracket here if you'd like. Get your cable out here if you want to maybe watch the football game when you're out there camping if you got service. This one also has 16 inch aluminum wheels with E-rated tires. If you get under here, there's a couple cool features about this. This is called the center point suspension and it's nice, easy, nice. These are wet bolts. You can do your own maintenance. You've got easy loop hubs, you got self-adjusting brakes, but what makes this interesting is you got these little gas shocks under here. You got four on this camper. It's gonna really ride nice whether it's got a, a load on it or if it's empty. And then while you're under there, if you wanna shoot the underbelly, the underbelly's insulated, it's got a foil barrier in it and it's heated. It's gonna get you deep in those seasons when you're hunting. Keep you nice and warm inside. I think the floor has got an R value of 11. You do have a 19 foot awning. Comes with a really nice awning. And while you're there, get this nice LED strip. 
or if you want, you can just go with the little light here if you want to do something a little bit more, a little less bright. Here's your rear scissor jacks. And again, these two buttons power for both sides because they're scissors. You don't have to run around all four corners. It's just two buttons and you're stable. Here's your fuel pump station. You've got a, a gauge to tell you how full or empty you are. You do have a 30 gallon gas tank on this guy. Here's a little on off switch. And what's nice about this toy hauler that's is pretty unique is the gas station's on the campsite. So you definitely know who's getting what. No one can sneak up behind you and pump gas. Here's your little gas station right here. Keep it away from your campfire. So moving on back, this is, this is kind of a, a nice deal here. You've got a cable down cargo door. So when you're not, when you're not clipped in, this actually works as a ramp but when you get your toys out, you can cable on, easy quick connects here, put your railing up, and you've extended your camp space in your camper another eight, nine feet. You do have privacy curtains. This one's open just to kind of demonstrate in the half. That one's got a window, but it also has another uh, panel in there. You can drop down if you want privacy. I don't know if you're getting that with that sun, but. That little black dome's a really cool feature. You've got, it's, it's wired into the 12 volt system. You don't have to run wires. It runs off Bluetooth. You upgrade it to a Furion camera and, and that comes with the little suction cup monitor that you put on your windshield and you can always see what's going on behind you. It's a really nice feature, I recommend it. Coming around here, you've got the fold, fold down 250 pound ladder. It's good to get up there and check your seals and stuff on your roof from time to time. Right here, you've got a vent, and we'll get into that when we get inside. Right here, you've got a, an access to your spare tire. This trailer actually comes with a spare, which not all do, so it's kind of a nice feature. And of course, this here is where you fill up your gas, right here. 30 gallon tank again. You have two slides on this camper. This is the big one. This is gonna be in your living room and we'll show you what that looks like inside. These little panels here just give you access to your refrigerator, a little drain for your condensed moisture and any kind of service you might need. Then you get it getting kind of the control center here. You've got a 35,000 BTU furnace. It's gonna heat this thing no problem. You've got a 30 amp cord this is where you plug it in when you're doing shore power. You've got cable inlet and satellite inlet for different you know, campgrounds you go to. You got a black water flush, a city water connection, and then a tank fill. This is my, one of my favorite parts because you just do a quick connect on this guy. You have this little blue hose. When you get done with your quads and stuff and want to wash them up before you put them away, you just plug in there, spray them right off. But this is another nice feature about this guy. It's got a 10 gallon hot water heater. So as you fill up this tank, and we'll get into some of the specs inside, you actually get an extra 10 gallons when you fill this guy up and it's gonna keep you, keep you in the showers longer. Now right under here, you've got a place to st store your hose. This is where you put your sewer hose. This is where you hook it up. You got gray and you got black water dumps right there. So moving on to this guy, this is my favorite. This is a, it's an engineered firebox as you see the foil in there. You've got a quiet gas 4,000 watt Onan generator from the factory, exhausted through the bottom. You got a remote start inside, really easy to use, fires right up. I think this one has 17 whole hours on it. This here is a really cool feature too. This is just like a little solar panel portable thing. You can get a little suitcase solar panel and you can plug this in. A lot of people use it more of a, as a battery tender to keep those batteries topped off. What I like to use these for, I like to plug one in and keep it pointed towards the sun when I'm not using my camper in between trips because it keeps those batteries nice and topped off for when you 
when you get ready to go. You're, you're already starting out with full batteries. So it can kind of run as like just a real easy portable battery minder, if you will. Of course, this door is vented and it does lock. And that's the outside of this guy. Again, the model's a ST2816. It's a 28 foot box. It's got a 16 foot interior garage. It doesn't have a vapor wall, but it it does. It'll hold a lot of toys. It'll hold a big razor. And we'll go in and check it out. So a couple things about this, and we're going to talk about some specs here. The dry weight on this camper is 8186. So 8186 pounds. Uh, we have a hitch weight of 1201 pounds. The GVWR is 1200 or 12,800 pounds. So that'll the cargo capacity in here with water and the gas and your toys, you can put up to 4600 pounds in this guy. It's amazing. It's because of those 6000 pound axles and you got two of them. So it's a beefy it's a beefy travel trailer toy hauler. But if you don't load it all the way up, you can definitely pull this with a half ton, which is nice. So moving on back here, let's just show you the inside of we talked about this little panel. If you wanted to get privacy, you could zip them both down. So if you wanted to leave it open, get some nice breezes in here. You can open the windows, but you still have privacy. This bed does come down. I didn't pin it down right now because I wanted to show you this nice party deck. But the bed comes down, and then this also makes a bed to this effect. It just rolls over, and so does that one. And it makes a bed here, so you can sit, sleep two here, two there. This guy here kind of rolls out to a bed as well, just like this one. So you can actually sleep six people in the back here and two in the front. So the sleeping capacity is amazing. Looking at the floor, you see all these D-rings. you got plenty of these D-rings that are in 5 8 plywood subfloor, tongue and groove. And what's nice about that, it's not an OSB coach. We've all seen OSB get wet, it just crumbles. This has got some beefy subfloor, something like you'd see in your house. So that's another nice feature. You've got your window treatments, nice pull down pleated shades, and that's on all the windows. Let's look at some of the storage here. This is a really nice hardwood cabinet. These are all hardwood styles. You've got a lot of storage right there. I'll open that up for you. This is in that slide we were looking at outside. Now this is a gas and electric eight cube Dometic RV fridge. A lot of space in that guy. This is a family unit and you got plenty of space to put your food for your family. Nice little storage up here. Let's look at what they got going on over here. This is a really nice feature too. If you do have someone sleeping on your couch and you've got the kiddos up here, you've got a privacy curtain right here for them. Everyone kind of gets their own space. You've got ducted AC up there. You've got a couple outlets. I didn't drop it, I should have, but we'll show you if you want to come look at it. Uh, anyways, here's some more storage. Oh, I showed you that one. Let's show you this one. This is the other side. Get out of your way. You notice on the ceiling there, you got a 12 volt fan going. That's a really nice feature. Keeps the air moving through here real nice. LED lights throughout. You've got these freestanding chairs. I got one open and one closed, but they're super comfortable. They're easy to maneuver. You can put them in your hallway when you get your razor in here. You've got plenty of space. And you've got a, this, this nice little dinette table and it just pulls down. Right here, you've got a rug. So when you get your toys out, you can actually roll this rug out and make this feel more like a camper inside. Let's focus on the galley. Oh, real quick. We talked about those vents outside, and I told you I'd talk about them inside. So if you want to come over here, you've got two of these. You've got one in the front and one in the back. And how they work is when you have 
a razor or anything with the gas motor in here, you got fumes emitting from that guy even when the gas tank is closed. And all you do is, you just kick that open this way for exhaust. And we'll just kind of double track here, back over here. And you kick this one open towards your vehicle this way. The air comes in here and out there and it keeps this thing from smelling like your garage. It's a really nice feature. It's, I think it's, it has to be that way for your toy hauler. There's a little bit more cabinet space. You do have speakers inside and out. What's that? Show the deck here. Oh yeah, let's go through the deck. Yeah, this is where we this is where all the fun happens. So we're standing out here on this cable down deck we talked about. As you can see, there's quite a bit of space here. This table usually goes between those couches. Nice little place to have dinner, but you can also put lawn chairs around here and really have some fun out here. So as you see, you've got your, your heating vents in here. There's a couple back here, and I'll show you the one under the shower and in the bedroom. But you also have heat running into this underbelly. So it's a heated enclosed underbelly. It's gonna keep you warm in that fall trip. You've got solid surface countertops. That's a nice feature. There's no tea molding to fall off. You've got a nice big microwave in this guy. Plenty of cabinet space. Nice two-tone cabinets. You've got an articulating 40 inch screen here. Now this is a Furion three burner propane stove oven cooktop. It's got the night, the light lights on them. Really nice, nothing too, nothing too bright, but it kind of keeps you from stubbing your toe at night. And Furion's a good brand. Furion's made for RVs. It actually has stuff that will withstand temperature changes, vibration. The more Furion you see in a unit, the better. You do have this really nice undermounted farm sink with a high rise faucet. Plenty of places for spices, what have you. Here's some storage underneath here. And what's nice about Strike here, they have ball bearing drawer guides, so they're not chintzing on your actual drawer guides. You've got some nice door space there. There's all your guides and warranty stuff. And there's your deep drawer. You do have some lights under here. And you've got plenty of power on your 110 here. This guy here runs that fan up there, that 12 volt fan. And you do have your bed lift control right here. That actually brings up, gets your bed, brings it down. So let's all move on into the bedroom here. One thing to notice is you've got a lot of head space in this guy. This is a 7.6 ceiling in here. I think it's 8.6 in the back. You're just not gonna bump into stuff. We'll start over here in the bedroom. This is the remote start. So how you start that generator is you put stop. When that light comes on, it's primed. Let's prime it again. There it is. And as you can see, it's a quiet, quiet generator. That's not really gonna wake you up or it's a nice power source and it does have 16 hours on it. So it's a really fresh little guy. You do have USB ports to charge phones up there. You also, on this guy, you have 110 outlets on the front of both nightstands. You also got some nice storage right there. As you see, this heat, this heat duct is coming through the, the underbelly, and this is your heat duct for in the bedroom here. Now, there's one right here for the shower, keep your bathroom nice and warm. And you've got some nice wardrobe side cabinets, for some extra hanging stuff. You've got this really nice little drawer to keep your, you know, 
stuff in there. This is, this is that little slide that we talked about. What makes this one kind of nice is it is deeper. As you see in the, in the little wardrobe slides, you don't have a whole lot of room for your full size hangers. So this is a real deep closet. This is, gets you a little bit more space to hang stuff, but it also gives you a deeper space to hang stuff. It's a really nice deal. You got your mirrors on there. Nice little dresser drawers there if you want to put your clothes in there. And last but not least, we're going to talk about this Jack and Jill bath. It's a great bathroom. I'm 6'1". This is a real nice insert. Nice and spacious. You also have this skylight for the super tall people. But then you have your nice shower wand. Nice sink. Wood medicine cabinet. Foot flush toilet. And a nice little shelf up there with hooks for towels and what have you. Here's for your fan up there. You can open it right there. You're not jumping up there to crank that open or down. It's all power. And of course you have your GFI if you want to put hair dryers and curling irons in. But again, you do have a heated duct right there. Keeps the bathroom real nice and warm as you're, as you're using it. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the size of this guy. The whole overall length is 32, point, 32 foot 8 inches. You're, wit, you're, you're 12 foot 10 inches high and you're 8 foot 6 inches wide. Um, your fresh gallon, your fresh water is 98 gallons plus the 10 gallons in the water heater we talked about. You've got 57 gray, 30 black. Um, your AC is a 15,000 BTU. Um, and that's about it. But if you want to talk prices on this guy, if you want to call me, my name is Dean Jones. My number is, my cell number is the easiest way to get a hold of me at 720-347-7063. Or you can email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. It's been nice showing you this unit and uh, thanks a lot for joining me.